What's up guys, Antonic here, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the new weapons in Splatoon 2, which is the Dapple Duelies. Now, um, with this uh, new weapon, uh, it's basically just a, uh, a duelies, two duelies that um, have a quicker uh, dodge speed. But um, other than that, you also have new uh, sub and specials. So you have the Squid Beacon, and you have Suction Bomb Launchers. I also think that the uh, range is a bit uh, worse, but that's because it makes up for it with its uh, faster um, dodging speed. So we're going to go ahead and buy this. I'm also going to buy these other ones that I got, which uh, was a Custom Blaster and the Aerospray RG, which was my favorite in the first game. But... I don't really know about uh, in this game to be honest but um, other than that I'm gonna show off this weapon and then once I unlock this one which is the crash blaster I'll show that one off too and um, that will be it for the uh, new weapons in this game um, I also show off the new weapons in the uh, when the updates come out like the uh, dual squelchers that came out um, not too long ago so um we're gonna go into the lobby here and um oh wait I forgot to equip it duh okay um so first we gotta go equip it but I actually wanna compare them uh to the other duelies so um okay wow they actually do a lot more damage surprisingly so they have a little bit less range so I think they have do they have more range than aerospray though no, they actually have the worst range out of everything. I think even worse range than like... I think that's the worst range I've ever actually seen, to be honest. It has a really bad range. Okay, so it has a really bad range, but... It has a bit more damage than, uh... It does a bit more damage than the, um... Splat Dually. It actually is the one that does the most damage, because it actually does more damage than the Dually Squelchers, too. But, um... Its mobility is a bit better than the... Um, splat duelies and the uh, dual squelchers, but I think the mobility is the thing that is uh, um, that's a dodging mechanic, so that's what I think mobility is supposed to uh, be, but then again, I can be wrong. Um, it might also be just being able to shoot and uh, run around because I know in a uh, for these charger weapons like mobility is like being able to walk around while charging but I don't know what it is for these duelies here so um it could be different it could be the same I don't know I think it is a dodge mechanic though and that's why it's higher than the splat duelies here alright so we're playing in uh, turf wars here and yeah, the range is really bad on this, to be honest. I think it actually has the worst range in the game. But, um, its fire rate's really good, though, so it makes up for it. Also, being able to dodge and have unlimited suction bombs, as you guys can see right here, it's pretty useful. Alright, let me try and dodge around here. Nice, kill that guy. So yeah, I mean, even though they have low range, I feel like they're the new, uh, the new, uh, Slusha Matic. Because the Slusha Matic had a high fire rate, uh, not that much range, and, um, but did a lot of damage, though. But I think it also, uh, sacrificed in some other category, too, because it had to be better than the, uh, than the, uh, Splash Matic somehow. Alright, nice. I'm actually pretty good with these. I actually really like them so far. So yeah, this is my first time uh, reacting to them. I have actually never used them before, as you saw them in the shop. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people use them in, like, ranked battles, and I guess even here in Turf Wars, even though I don't really play Turf Wars that much in this game, but um, I've seen uh, quite a few people use it. So, um... Yeah, it is pretty good, I do have to say. But, um, sadly, there's nothing I could do about my team. 
every time. Like, it, it's it's just... I guess I have to show you guys. Like, my experience with just, like, bad teams is not just a regular, like, type of thing. It's, like, an ongoing type of thing. Like, almost every round, I, I have, like, a bad team. Like, either it's a bad teammate, or if it's, uh... Or if it's, uh just uh miscommunication like i just have the worst luck with my team and it's just it's part of the reason why i lose and it's really annoying to be honest and i'll show some of those ranked matches and some of the um some of the turf wars um probably in the next platoon 2 episode because um i know today i was supposed to do like a top 10 tuesday but it was pretty late and I didn't really have um, enough time to make up a list or um, and also pretty tired um, but yeah I really didn't have a list to uh, make I was trying to make like either top 10 underrated uh, GameCube games or top 10 hidden uh, je gems of GameCube but um, I couldn't figure out which one I wanted to do or like I didn't really know like I mean they're kind of the same thing like hidden gems and underrated games are kind of similar to be honest and surprisingly we won that but um yeah i was thinking about doing either one of those or um top 10 gaming cliches something like that but yeah we did really good with that weapon for my first time that's impressive i might actually use these for ranked no wonder people use them but um yeah, so I probably, I won't do a top 10 Tuesday today, obviously, because, um, I didn't get to, I wasn't able to, but, um, yeah, like, I was trying to figure out, like, a list for the top 10 underrated GameCube games, because I've been playing a lot of GameCube games, and, um, or, like, the top 10 hidden game, hidden gems in GameCube, um, but, like, I couldn't really find that many, um, uh, games, to be honest, so I couldn't really make a full top 10 list. I think it only came up with like 8 games to be honest, so yeah, it wasn't really that good. So yeah, I actually wonder if this is actually the fastest fire rate weapon in the game. Because I know the uh, the uh, arrow spray has a lot, has like a really good fire rate and I use them a lot. But, um, I wonder if, uh, the, um, if this actually surpasses it. Alright, right there I just used a squid beacon by accident. You know. Did it get destroyed? Okay, someone destroyed it. Let's go follow this guy. Just cover all his ink that he's making here. Oh, he's gonna go invade our base. Great. Little does he know that we're actually following him. Yeah, you better get out of here. <laughs> I don't know what the what what are these people doing? I mean they're in danger. I that's the only person that I've seen so far. Alright. See some more purple ink. Or pink ink, I mean. But um Yeah, so this is just a joke, I guess. We should just have a squid party in the middle here. You know, I'm just gonna squid bag this guy. Yeah, let's party. You know, these guys are easy. Just, just squid bag. So I've seen like a lot of like videos of like just squid partying with um just Splatoon one. I haven't seen any like squid parties in Splatoon two, but um. Wow. Okay, I actually died there. I don't even. Ha I don't think that touched me to be honest. I was walking away. I don't know how they got us, but okay. Just cover all these nook and crannies here. I ain't talking about nook's cranny from <laughs> Animal Crossing. All right. Hopefully, I can get my special pretty soon. And okay, they're making a comeback. They're making a comeback, but they're still pretty bad. What are these guys like level one or something? they play in rank, they'll probably be like C- minus for like five years. <laughs> Until the next Splatoon game comes out, they'll still be in uh, 
C plus or C minus. Alright, how did that guy die to him? I really don't know, because this guy... Look at this. I'm just going to stand here. What is this guy doing, huh? What are you doing? Yeah, you're just standing there. Like, are you new to the game or something? I mean, like, you have a splat roller. Why, did you just, like, look up what's the best weapon for turf wars or something? And splat roller came up. I guess because... Maybe, maybe he searches up my, uh old top 10 uh, Splatoon weapons or yeah Splatoon weapons cause like I came out with like a list of like my top 10 Splatoon weapons and it was like back when the test fire came out and it, it was really bad to be honest cause like I counted special weapons and sub weapons in the list because there weren't 10 weapons in the test fire so I just <laughs> named the uh sub weapons and special weapons in the list and surprisingly I didn't get that many dislikes on it I don't know how or why but it was a pretty bad video to be honest but then I made a newer one that was a bit better and they were uh it was called top 10 splatoon weapon sets instead of splatoon 2 weapons But, or not, I guess not Splatoon 2. Why am I saying Splatoon 2? I didn't make a list for Splatoon 2. I might, but, um... Actually, probably not yet. I'll probably make a list when the, uh... When there's a lot more, like... Uh, updates to the game and adding more weapons. Because, to be honest, I don't really know why Nintendo took out, like, so many weapons... Because, like, there's there's a lot of weapons missing in this game. Like, I actually recently visited the uh, original Splatoon. And I found that, like, there was a... There's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of, um... Weapons missing from this game. Like, there's no range blaster. There's no dual squelchers. There's no swifters. There's no, um... What else is there? There's no uh, sluicing machine. There's no like real custom weapons. Like there's only like a few custom weapons to be honest. But yeah, there's a lot more weapons, but can't really name them just yet. I'm trying to think of them as I. Um, turf and ink here. Oh god. You almost got me there. Alright, we need a little bit more to get our special. There we go. Really? Okay. There we go. At least I splattered her back. Yeah, like, I, if you go back to Splatoon 1, like, like I said, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of, uh, weapons missing from the, uh, first game to the second game. But hopefully they'll add them, just like the ink brush. Cause like the ink brush wasn't in the original game. It was a update not too long ago. All right, three against one. What am I gonna do? <laughs> the opposite is happening here than our uh, last battle. All right, let's see if we can win this. Even though. They got a lot of ink on us. Alright, can I get my special? Oh god, I didn't see that girl. Okay, there we go. Got her. Yes, special time. Alright, I think we won, but we'll see. Uh, it's, it's close. Okay, we actually lost by 3%. 
Yeah, it's probably not my fault though. Yep. Like usual. It, it's it's just it's sad. It really is sad to be honest because like you do so well and yet either your team lets you down or like they're not doing as well. Like most of the time like when I see my ranking like in my team, I'm usually like number 1 or number 2. Well, in turf war, but like in ranked battles, I don't know how it's like I don't know how you're ranked in ranked battles like in your team to be honest because like it's really stupid. I don't know like I like there's this one match where I got like I think 17 kills and like six specials. But yet I was at the bottom and I got more kills and more specials than anyone on my team. Anyone in the lobby to be honest. But yet my team lost number 1 and number 2 I didn't um I was last in my team like I was the last um I was the last uh in my <coughs> I was the last ranking god I can't even speak all right uh anyway I just got destroyed there by uh cuz you got to watch out for the range people with this weapon because you can get outranged with almost every weapon. Um, I actually wonder if this actually has um, more range than the uh, ink brush because I actually don't think it does. Which um, is kind of sad. Because the ink brush has pretty low range. Anyway, I think this is actually a better weapon than uh, my Aero Spray um, MG. Cause like in this game, I have to admit, I think the Aero Spray MG is actually better than the RG. I didn't get to see what the sub weapon was for the RG, but I still really do uh, like and enjoy the MG a lot better with the uh, bomb rush and everything. Alright, good, they're in danger. Let me go cover up those Tenta missiles. Alright, is someone like following me? Because I'm literally going around circles covering this entire track, and yet somehow they're. Okay, wow, really? You're just gonna hunt me down? Got nothing better to do? Okay. Yeah, literally, I'm going around that track in circles, and I feel like I've went around it like three times, but yet there's still green ink around. Wow, okay. I don't know how that guy did that. He shot Tenta missiles right where he was, and both of us got killed. I really don't know how that happened, but okay. Alright, somehow I killed her, even though I was facing a wall. I guess one of my guns shot her, and the other gun was shooting at the wall. Which is kind of the advantage. Really? Okay, game. 0.5%. What's next? 0.1%? Alright, I'll do one more round. Of course, I'm best in the lobby, but yep. Team just, just can't get together. I still hate that like it doesn't show how many deaths you have. I mean it shows on the app but like no one really uses the app. Alright. So we're gonna go again. But yeah these dapple dualies are actually really good. I think they're better than the uh, original dualies. And even though I do like the uh... I do like the dually squelchers. I don't know. I think the dapple dualies are a bit better, to be honest. Because, like, 
having that faster like dodging speed because like even though you don't have that much range like you can dodge back and forth and still be able to like cover a lot of ink and be able to kind of protect yourself and psych people out very fast all right let's get our special here Alright, we're doing good so far. Alright, really? That guy died from the arrow spray? Oh, okay. Looks like they're just gonna stay- Oh, okay. But what duelies does he have? Of course I run out of ink. Right when I'm about to kill someone, just run out of ink. Like, it's a prime example of what happens to me in, uh, ranked battles. Which you'll see probably sometime this week. I mean, you already saw it, but like, rank battles is a different, uh, I guess, approach. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good in rank battles. I'm an A overall, which is really good. Um,. I've seen some people that were actually S plus. I saw someone in my uh, Inkopolis, in Inkopolis Square that was uh, S minus, which is pretty surprising. I didn't really expect that uh, there were uh, S pluses already in this game. I mean, I guess someone has to be S plus. I should have dodged again. Actually, I probably should have dodged forward because I think I do have a faster fire rate than uh, an arrow spray, which is, again, really surprising. Because arrow sprays have really, really high fire rates. But yeah, the main weapon that I uh, use is for uh, rank battles, I use the uh, I use the jet sculpture for basically every rank battles except for um, Rainmaker, because like for Rainmaker, for some reason, I just really like to use um, the uh, the Octo Brush, because I feel like just being able to get close up in their face with the uh, Rainmaker, like if your opponent has the Rainmaker, you can. Um, just pretty easily just hit them with the octo brush also with the auto bomb really helps out and um yeah i really do enjoy the uh, octo brush it's actually a really good weapon and i might actually made it overall in my rank battles because it is really good all right so we destroyed them there i also just love the detail of, like why does it have toothbrushes on the end of the dapple dualies? I don't really know. Do like just like how like the dually squelchers combine, like do the toothbrushes combine when you dodge? But um Yeah, so those were the dapple dualies. Really cool weapons, really good. Um I might actually use them in rank battles, maybe just to test them out and stuff. But um yeah, I really do enjoy them. Hopefully they'll be like available weapons in like Salmon Run or something because they could be pretty useful to dodge enemies and be able to shoot them down at the same time. But um yeah, so this is the second to last um new weapon. So next episode will be the uh crash blaster. Well I'll do some regular battles, uh depending if I make it to level thirty or not. Um, for tomorrow but um yeah so thank you guys all for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more splatoon 2 right here on town nick bye